Okay, so for this problem, we're asked to make a second order Taylor series for r of x, which is quantity 1 plus x to the fourth. And we want that Taylor series to be centered at 3. So let's recall the general formula for a Taylor series. Okay, so here's our general, general formula for a second order Taylor series. So I have my function value at a plus the derivative of the function at a times x minus a plus the second derivative of the function at a times quantity x minus a squared over 2 factorial. So for this problem, that f is that r of x. So let's start by finding r of 3. which is quantity 1 plus 3 to the 4th, 4 to the 4th, 256. I'm going to go ahead and plug things in as I go. So let's switch these to, to r and 3. Okay, so now I want to find r prime of 3. So first let's find the general derivative for r. So I kind of have a chain rule here where 1 plus x is my inner function and x to the fourth would be my outer function. So I'm going to have 4 times 1 plus x to the third times the derivative of 1 plus x, which is just 1. So that's r prime. Now let's plug in 3. So I have 4 times quantity 1 plus 3 to the 3rd, which is actually 4 to the 4th again, so 256. Hmm, not showing up. And I'm going to go ahead and change that A out for a 3. Same here. Okay, so now I need to find the second derivative of r. So let's take the derivative of four plus eh, of four times quantity one plus x to the third. So chain rule again. So I'm going to multiply by the three to get twelve times quantity one plus x, and then three minus one is going to be to the second. Now let's plug in 3. So I'm going to have 12 times 1 plus 3 squared. Which is like 12 times 16, which is 192. So now let's simplify this a little bit. I know 2 factorial is really just 2. So let's divide 192 by 2. So we're going to get 96. So my second order Taylor polynomial is 256 plus 256 times quantity x minus 3 plus 96 times quantity x minus 3 squared. And then to compare this Taylor series to the actual function, 
you're just going to go in your calculator or Wolfram Alpha something and plug in this polynomial and r of x. And then you can see how well the Taylor series approximates r.